Good morning, I'm Katie Banks, and today we're joined by Darth Sidious. How are you today? I'm good today, Katie. How are you? I'm quite well. Thank you for asking. So why did you decide to become a Sith Lord? It wasn't so much a decision as an inclination I had as a child. I always felt the need to be evil, and one time a cat scratched me. I wanted revenge, so I electrocuted him. That's horrible. Do you ever feel guilty about the things that you've done? No. I felt quite good about it, actually. I thought to myself, Damn you, Kitty. You got your just desserts. So your parents also said Lords? Actually, my mother was an accountant, and my father was a veterinarian, and he looked after poor Kitty after I electrocuted him. It was actually my uncle who was the Dark Lord of the Sith. Ah! <laughs> anyway, he taught me the ways of the Force. And did you love him? Yes, it's fair to say I loved him, but I had to kill him. It is the way of the Sith. So did you ever want to abolish that tradition? No, not really. It is a right of ascension. I had to kill him to prove I was more powerful. Do you have a special woman? There are no women for me. Isn't that lonely? Yes, I do, but when you're walking around the shopping mall with a cape, and a hood over your disfigured face. It, there's not much you can really do about it. Describe your ideal woman to me. I'm not sure there would be an ideal woman, but I suppose she would be a brunette and she would have lots of junk in the trunk. I have to ask, what shampoo do you use? I don't have any hair. I'm sorry. But on occasion, I do like to moisturize my scalp with Garnier Fructis, men's edition. So what are your hobbies? Bobbies. What? Nothing. I often spend time in my throne room blasting the stereo and listening to Beat It by Michael Jackson. Anything else? In addition to that, I like to sculpt clay kittens because I still kind of feel bad about Fluffy. Your robe, where did you get it? There's a fabulous new J.C. Penny on the Death Star and they tailor all my clothes personally. So tell me what it was like being the Supreme Chancellor. It was quite a fantastic experience, you know, taking over the entire Galactic Republic and transforming it into the first Galactic Empire! So what is the Empire to you? The Empire to me is a safe and secure society where all my citizens have equal rights except for the rebels. And we all get along nicely and we have large ships to destroy our enemies. That doesn't sound evil at all. Evil is a point of view, you know. Many people thought the Republic was evil. No, I, I don't think they did. Then why did the Republic have a war with the Trade Federation? Weren't you also behind the Trade Federation? So technically, you were at war with yourself. Uh, maybe I like playing mind games. So does that really mean that you're at war with yourself on the inside? No, not at all. I'm perfectly content with my insides. Thank you, Katie. This interview is over! <laughs> Next week we'll have Chewbacca! I forgot what I was going to say. Describe your ideal woman to me. I'm not sure I have an ideal woman, but I will try. I think she would be a brunette, and she would have a voluptuous ass. <laughs> one time, my cat scratched me, and I wanted revenge, so I electrocuted that little bugger. Did your parents also Dark Lords? Dark Lords? Dark Lords? <laughs> Dark Lords. <laughs> 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 Sorry, parents. <laughs> No, actually, my mother was an accountant. My father... What was my father? <laughs> but begins to be... But dunk a dunk. But dunk a dunk. I don't have any hair. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, wait, wait, wait. What were you...